Hey guys, this is AJ from the Taco Garage. Behind me are sitting four different TRD Pro Grills. One of them is OEM, the other three are not. Today we're gonna show you the differences between them and we're gonna let you decide which one you like the best. First thing we're gonna show you is a quick view of all of them. Uh, so coming over and let's just go all over them. These are not OEM. This one right here is OEM and I'm gonna show it to you in a little bit more detail in a second. Uh, okay. Now obviously all the aftermarket grills are trying to look like OEM. So we're gonna go look at the OEM first so that we have something to compare the other ones to. Let's go. This right here is our OEM grill. Between all of them there's only a few spots in the grill that will have differences. Uh, mainly is the letters and the, the little center piece where the garnish installs. So if we gotta go around the back, you can see here, let me see, let's bring it to the light. You can see these little pins right here for all these letters. And they all have gray with black backings. They are located using these pins. Um, the garnish goes in this spot. That's for those of us who have 2018s or later. Um, you see this one rattles a little bit. This piece isn't really tight in place. Now, next we're gonna show you this aftermarket grill They're pretty similar um, th the one of the differences is the letters uh, you can see the a and the t have a gray background unlike the oem that has black background for all the letters these are going to be a little bit different for that reason around the back you can see that they get the letters are located on the grill in a pretty similar way as the oem the letters attach on this grill using double-sided tape, and that means one thing. And if you bring the camera up close, uh, you can see right there, there's a gap. It's a small gap, and you can't really see it from the front, obviously. But if you get up close, you can see a gap. Now, you would think that's a defect, but let me show you the OEM. So OEMs are double-sided tape too. You can even squeeze it a little bit. When you buy a, an aftermarket grill and then you get a grill with double-sided tape, it makes you think, well, I'm getting a lower quality product. Now Toyota does it the same way. Um, there's other things that will show the lower quality. Like I said, the, the gray backing on those letters is, is an example. Now, I showed you the rattle on the OEM of this piece. If you're installing a garnish, then it doesn't, it doesn't matter as much, but if you have a 16 or 17, then, then you care, because that one rattles. And look at this aftermarket grill. They are molten together, which means it doesn't rattle. Other than that, these two are basically the same. Now, let's move on to the next one. We have this one here. Let me show you this one in the back first. Now, again, the OEM grill in the aftermarkets only differ in a few certain areas. Again, the letters in this case, this is very similar to the OEM in that they, all the letters have the black backing. And you can see that right there. This version of the TRD Pro Grill is one that is molded, uh, the, all the letters are molded into one piece. All the letters are not an individual piece each and that attaches with four screws. Now, a lot of people like that, because and, and it does look good, it has its advantages. However, every time we've come across this type of grill, we've had the same issue. And we're gonna have to show you that right here all these sections right here 
are flat on this version of the non-OEM grill. If you look at the OEM, it has ridges. It has ridges in all these little spots up here too. And this one doesn't. And I feel that looks like a cheap one. So, now, if you look at the other two aftermarket grills that we have, they do have those ridges. So, hold on, let's just... It's a close-up of one of them, and then the other one will also have the ridges. So, in my opinion, both of these look better than that first one. And if we go back to this uh, other one, you'll see that this is also loose. Now we tried putting a garnish on this version and it was harder. Number one, because taking out these pins is hard because of that little metal clip that they have in them. You wouldn't think so, but that's hard to take out. Or harder than the other ones where you just have to break off the, the pin. So we have one more aftermarket grill to show you, but before I do that, I'm gonna remind you uh, what the differences were between the other ones. I know it's a short video, so you probably remember, but still. So OEM has the uh, gray letters with black backing on each of them. They are attached with double-sided tape and alignment pins. The center piece is loose. It's attached with push nuts that are a little bit hard to take out, but if you needed to, but that's how that's attached. The front has the ridges like it's supposed to because that's the OEM. Uh, um, and then we go back to the first uh, aftermarket that we showed you, and that's this one. This one looks pretty good. The only bad thing about this one is that it has the black, or uh, I'm sorry, the gray backing on the A and the T. So these are also double-sided tape letters. They align the same way as the OEM with pins. The center piece is molten in there, so it's pretty tight, breaks off pretty easy, it's easy to take out, and it has the ridges. But again, the disadvantage on this one is the gray backing on those letters and that they are double-sided tape. So, the second aftermarket that we showed you has the flat sections throughout the grill, which looks cheap. Uh, the letters are all with black backings, which is good. They attach with screws, which is also good, but this piece is no good. We tried an OEM garnish on this before and it didn't really fit very well. Plus, taking this piece out wasn't as easy because of these little brackets that they use. Now, if we go to our third aftermarket grill, you'll see that each letter has a black backing. You'll also see that it has all the ridges just like OEM. Letters are attached using screws. And the centerpiece is molten in there, which means there's no play in it. There's no rattles. And if you do need to take it out, all you gotta do is punch this pin with the back of a screwdriver, a little hammer, and it pops right out. The garnish will fit perfectly. Of the three aftermarket grills that we showed you, the third one is the one that most resembles the OEM. But now we're gonna show you the differences between those two in a little bit more detail. Okay, so number one difference between that third aftermarket grill and the OEM is the way the letters attach to the grill. Again, in the OEM, they are attached with double-sided tape. And you don't get to do that. If you buy the OEM grill, you're gonna get it just like that, with the letters attached. So you're never gonna see that double-sided tape but that's how they attach. On the aftermarket, they get screwed in. So this is more secure. This difference number two between the third aftermarket and the OEM is the centerpiece. Again, on the OEM, you get this centerpiece that rattles. If you have an 18 or 19, you're gonna remove that, or 20. And removing it on the OEM means you have to break off these push nuts which isn't very easy. But if you go to the aftermarket and you have a 16 or 17, this doesn't rattle. And if you have a 18, 19 or 20, 
you can break these off real easy super super easy to break these off again you just grab the back of a screwdriver and tap in it and it breaks right off so it's very easy to install the garnish on this there's one more difference between the grills that we didn't mention before and that's the finish the oem grill will have a slightly glossier finish the market ones have basically the same finish and it's a flatter black than the oem it's a flat black versus a slightly glossy black on an oem so that wraps up the video comparison. In case you didn't figure it out yet, the third and best aftermarket grill that we showed you is ours. Uh, if you liked the video, if you got some useful information out of it, please consider uh, subscribing and hopefully we'll be able to get you some more of these videos pretty soon.